My sister Stella is super ambitious. Full of laughter. Fun. I'm thinking bright. Courageous. Hello, good morning. I am outside of Asheville um, in the Blue Ridge Parkway on the Mountains to Sea Trail. I'm just doing a little day hike, kind of a little bit of a shakedown hike to see like how does my pack feel in the mountains since I've been in Florida training for the past couple months. I know I'm going to have a big adjustment period getting used to the elevation gain and change um, and the rocks and everything um, on the Appalachian Trail. So I thought I'd bring you guys along, maybe do a little about me video. Those are really fun for Appalachian Trail vlogs. I love seeing um, <laughs> like the other Appalachian Trail vloggers this year post there about me um, whew, videos and I've had a couple of you request one. So I thought this day hike would be a good opportunity to do a little about me. So oh, I'm gonna get going and then talk when the trail isn't like straight down. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> wet, so. So uh, it's been about three and a half miles. Um, it's super overcast and really windy. So I haven't been pulling out my phone too much because I don't know how the audio quality is gonna be. But, oh my God, it feels so good to be in the mountains and to be able to just see the Blue Ridge Parkway. Like, oh, it's just gorgeous, all these mountains. Um, and I really do like, being amongst all the leafless trees. <laughs> like, it's nice to be able to see the surrounding ridge line a little. Okay, so all this green is beautiful. <laughs> oh, it's so surprising. I feel so lush all of a sudden. Yeah, so I was born in Greeley, Colorado, um, and I lived there until I was about 18. While I was in high school, I ran cross country and played basketball, and I really enjoyed my high school years, um, especially because my cross country coach was actually the first person to take me backpacking. Like, he would take the whole team we had all this extra gear and and so that's like when the seed was planted of what would really grow into like one of the things I love most in life so that was really amazing um, I have two brothers and two sisters and um, they are kind of scattered throughout the US. Um, my mom raised us and because my dad passed away, oh shit, I'm like holding this so wrong. Okay. Yeah, so my dad passed away when I was nine. So that was really tough. So it was pretty much just us and our mom. Um, while we were growing up. Um, and so it was like extra important for me to have mentors and things like that when I was a kid. So my cross country like coaches and my teachers really played a special role in my life. And I think that's like why I later 
ended up becoming interested in teaching and becoming a teacher just because like I wanted to make a difference the way my teachers and coaches had made a difference in my life. So um, I moved to St. Augustine, Florida for college and I really, I mean, I really loved that. It was such a beautiful little city. If you haven't been there or seen it, I have a couple like reels I made on Instagram showing small portions of it, but it's just a beautiful place. Really magical, really special. Um, so yeah, I, I ended up taking some time off during my undergrad and then I did this backcountry trails program and that was oh, amazing. I'll make a video talking all about that at some point. But that's when I like really learned that I can do it and I gained a lot of confidence, not only in the mountains, but in everyday life. And I went back to school and I studied math so that I could become a math teacher. And yeah, I graduated when I was 26. And I taught at a high school in St. Augustine as soon as I graduated. But then I stopped teaching when I got married, which was at 27. And that was like my ex-husband was in the military. So we moved around a little bit and we moved to Washington. That's where I lived pretty much until I was 30. Two, 31. Like, I think I just turned 32 when I moved away from Washington. We got divorced when I was 20, 31. Um, so, I'm gonna take my glasses off. They are fogging. And I did, like, get these, like, little nose stickers. It's good to test them out now because they aren't working that well. <laughs> um, that's good to know. I am absolutely loving I think these are rhododendra bushes. Um, cause I hear that they like bloom in the spring and I'm going to be missing that cause I'm starting so early. So all you guys out there starting later than me, I think, oh my God, I hear that it's like going to be amazing with all the blooming flowers. Okay. Anyways, so married at 27, divorced at 31. While we were in Washington, I did some teaching, I did a lot of tutoring, I worked at an REI, um, I was also in a graduate program for all of 2020, and it was for an MBA in Sustainable Solutions. I think after I hiked the Pacific Crest Trail, I got really invested in sustainability, and that's like when I became a vegan, and just like really gained this like deep desire to like understand how the world works and how to make choices that don't harm other people, don't harm the planet. And yeah, it was, I learned so much and I gained like a really great community from that program, but I ended up not finishing it because it was like 2021 was kind of when um, my, ex-husband and I kind of began the process of realizing we might get divorced and there was just a lot of stuff going on that year that made it so I just was unable to keep up with the workload and the emotional load that was kind of going on at home. Um, and I thought about finishing that program but I'm also I'm just not sure I want to be a business professional. Um, so we'll see. I end up going back to grad school. I could go there or I'd really love to study psychology and learn more about like Jungian archetypal psychology. Um, Cause that's like kind of like one of my hobby interests is like just, just like learning about different personality types and personality theories and kind of where these theories kind of originated from. and. Yeah, so I think 
I think I'd really love to work one-on-one -on -one with people and help people um, just like navigate the challenges of life as I'm just been interested in doing that for myself <laughs> over the years. But right now I'm really invested in backpacking and through hiking and kind of wanting to lean into helping more um, just women and other folks who haven't, don't have the experience that I have or the knowledge or um, all of that, like who wanna get outside. I'm kind of leaning into the idea of figuring out how to, yeah, creatively help other people do that while also doing it myself and leaning into just being on trail. And um, I think that <laughs> I got a little off track, but I, I guess kind of spilling into like hobbies now um, because to like finish up the timeline, uh, I, I was teaching again full time at a high school um, in Seattle at the beginning of 2022 and I was at that high school until June and then since June I've been taking time off from work and um, just like I said exploring backpacking and leaning into loving hiking and nature and kind of figuring out like where I want to live it's in Summit County Colorado and, like being in a mountain town was amazing being back in St. Augustine in Orlando where my sister lives. Kind of, I'm in Asheville right now. Love the idea of living here. So still kind of toying around with where I wanna live. All my stuff is in storage in Seattle still. And now I have some stuff that I was using on this little road trip in my sister's garage in Orlando. So, I'm a little scattered, but I don't own too much. So, oops, well, that's nice. But I will have to figure that out all soon. So yeah, I think I decided to hike the Appalachian Trail probably in, you know, September I was kind of leaning into it, the idea. And I love the idea of walking. Um, so far every day, but, um, yeah, so that kind of brings me to now I'm 32 and my favorite hobbies are to journal. I do that pretty much every day on trail. It's harder for me, um, to make the time, but also on trail, I kind of, I get the time to like, like slow down and think the same way I would journal. Um, so that's nice, but, um, I have just like stacks and stacks of journals and kind of realized that like, oh, like maybe I, I can kind of like write some poetry because some of my journal entries are kind of poetic and the way I think and describe my, my ideas and thoughts feel kind of like, mm, yeah, like I should try my hand at poetry. So started writing poetry like last year um, and I've written so many poems now and I really love writing poetry. So I think I'm gonna write a little poetry book while I'm out on trail and see if anyone's interested in reading my poems. A lot of them have to do with nature and my connection to nature. So I feel pretty excited about that. I also kind of, it's like general short reflections and, and things about that I think about that kind of um, lean into being on trail. So be on the lookout for that if you're at all interested in poetry. Um, um, some other hobbies are, I like roller skating. Uh, that's so fun. I like dancing, listening to music. I like listening to audiobooks and podcasts. I like having like really stimulating conversations and exploring different ideas on like, I don't know. It's like 
um, on like whatever's going on, big dreams, big goals. Um, so that means I love connecting with people in my community, like my best friend and my sister, and then my other really close best friends. It's just like so nice to have community even though I'm not in one place, like to still be like having phone calls and conversations and getting quality time even if we're on the other side of the country from each other. Um, so that's really nice. Obviously love hiking <laughs> and making these videos is really fun and creative. I really like reading. I don't always do it as much as I would like to, but it's so nice to have coffee and journal and then read. And that's just like my perfect morning. <laughs> A little windy as I climb up out of those rhododendra bushes. Oh my goodness, you guys, check out this fog and the colors. The wind died down, and now it's just like silent and foggy and mossy. <laughs> Oh man, wow, so beautiful. Oh shoot, okay. <laughs> wow. So, gone a little over five miles at about two and a half miles an hour. Took a little pee break and taking it easy, but also still moving. So I think I have plans with my friend. So I'm about to turn around probably even though I'm just like eager to get going and stay on trail all day. But I'll be on the Appalachian Trail soon. And I'm so happy I'm getting to spend time with this friend. She's my best friend from high school actually. She's lived in Asheville like seven years now and I have not come to visit enough so she's gonna drive me to the trailhead after I have some time here to hike and, and visit and just like super looking forward to it so yeah I'll probably I'll turn around soon we have plans at 12 30 or 1 and it's 10 30 now so should probably turn around. <sighs> so I've almost made it back to my car. It's been such a beautiful hike. So glad to have my pack on. Um, I decided to go with my Z-Pax Arc Scout to start the trail off with. It has a hip belt. Um, and feeling good about that. There's just a little extra space for the extra gear I have for the colder weather. Um, yeah, so I decided that I would ask a few friends to describe me in one word <laughs> and then also describe in a few sentences why they think I want a through hike. Just as like a little fun addition to this about me video. Uh, yeah, I mean, so hopefully, hopefully you enjoy that. The one word I would use to describe Stella is courageous. Why do I think Stella is going to hike the AT? I know that she's going to get her triple crown one day, so this is her next challenge. The mountains are calling Heidi, of course, and she lives for through hiking. I can't wait for her to share her adventures with all of us. All right, so Stella in one word, I'm thinking bright. Um, I just remember meeting her and she's warm and bubbly and friendly right away and just glowing with good energy. So that's what I think of every time. Um, and as far as hiking, why does anyone do it? Um, because you can, because it's there. 
because she's amazing and has done it before and um, another place and wants to challenge herself and discover more about herself and I'm excited to see how it goes. One word to describe Stella is fun and why I think she's going to hike the Appalachian Trail is she has the time to do it right now and while she's in between homes I think this is a great time for her to reset by doing this trail and hopefully she ends back up in Colorado. Hi! Um, so describe Stella in a couple words. I would say compassionate and graceful and full of laughter and joy. <laughs> um, one of my favorite things is giggling with Stella. <laughs> and I think she's hiking the AT because it's where her heart really is, is to be on trail and be in the mountains. And that's just her favorite place in the world, so. My sister Stella is super ambitious, not in a corporate way, but more so in a nature way. She is hiking the Appalachian Trail, I think, to really discover herself even more, to spend some deep quality time working on her inner life while also challenging her physical body and emotional strength. For some reason, she likes to really push herself through these really, really hard things. And I think it has to develop a sense of pride and satisfaction and belief in yourself. And She's so courageous too, so I can't wait to follow your journey. Um, I guess to also wrap up the about me um, section is that I just feel really thankful to love the mountain so much and to be able to be out here. And I'm always just so amazed by my legs and my breath every time I get to the top of a climb. It just feels like, wow. I'm so thankful that one step at a time I could get there. So, um, looking forward to watching some about me's for other YouTube vloggers. If you have anything interesting or anything you want to share in the comments, let me know. Editing Stella here, and I just wanted to chime in and say thank you so much to my friends that sent in video clips. I feel so supported and loved and ready to hit the Appalachian Trail soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this about me video. Like I said, let me know in the comments if you have any thoughts or anything you want to share and I'll see you next time. Bye.